Hey everybody, how's it going? This is PG here. And I think I found a boss. Um, this is like the most welcome to a boss fight, like, hallway I've ever seen in my life. So, I'm assuming this is a boss. With my luck, I'm walking up to an NPC that's gonna tell me I'm an asshole. Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so... What the fuck am I even looking at? I know there's something else in this room. Or maybe not. Yeah, we got a boss fight going. I'm not completely retarded. And here's some fire. Alright, fire's not very effective, but I do have a lot of these, so why not? Alright, we're gonna switch out to my real weapon here, and uh, let's go. What the fuck are you? You're like a pudding monster, what the fuck? Yep, oh, there's some sword action. Okay, can't stun you. That's fine. Oh, there it is. There it is. Another uh, kind of gimmick boss fight, I guess. <clears throat> so right now, instead of reposting, I am seeing if I do more damage, if I can just stun lock the boss and just kind of swing away. Um... If I can, I think I'll actually just switch to heavy mode with my weapon. Let's see, what are we getting to? Uh, it's not... It's not that bad, but it's really not that good. Let's, uh, let's test the parry. Yeah, that's a little better. Alright. Ooh, whoa, what the fuck is that? Well, if that was an area of effect, I guess I was right outside of it. And I'm poisoned, okay. Alright, we were ready for that. Ooh, okay, getting a little more aggressive, getting a little crazy. Ran into the fire, you're stupid. Alright, we... What the fuck? Did he just go through that pillar? Whatever. No matter how angry he is, apparently a shot in the face will still put him down just in time for me to be able to parry him. How's it going, buddy? You feeling better? You any less of a douche? Nope, you're an asshole. Alright, that's cool. You have like a... Whoa, my health, holy shit. So that grab attack does a shitload of damage and poisons me. Now I'm poisoned again. Why? Well, that seems a little cheap, but okay. There we go. Here you go. Get some of that in your face. I hate you. Well, luckily everything I need for this boss fight I can fish for. Uh, well, farm for, I mean. Oh, look at that. Didn't even get poisoned that time. That's cool. Oh, get away from me. I hate you. All right, hack and slash. Okay, that's gross. You did like a double explosion. What does that mean? What are you doing over there? You need some fire in your life? What are you doing? Okay, probably stop trying to parry him so often. I should probably get a little more patient, time my parries out a little better. Some of these moves he does just need to be avoided. Um. When he raises up his right hand and he doesn't, like, lift his body up. Okay, somehow I died. It seems like when he lifts his right hand and doesn't take his whole body up with him, that's the best time to parry him. Also, look at that. One of the little fuzzy dudes. He's trapped in the floor. Um, he's now my pet. His name is Frederick. Um, he doesn't like me, but you know what? I'm gonna feed him treats, and we're gonna sit here and talk to him for a while. Oh, Frederick. Alright, moving on. So I came back over here to fight the boss, and as you can see out there in the distance, there's just a wolf, like, kind of, like, dancing on the steps, trying to serve me. Like, what the fuck am I dealing with? Just look at him. What's going on with the AI of these fucking animals today? Uh, what are you doing? 
What a fucking weirdo. Anyway. So, that was a little lightning. Uh, that made me laugh before I came back over here to fight the boss. As you can see, I got some antidotes back. Got some uh, am uh, ammunition back. And I got my uh, little Healy heals back. My little blood vials, whatever they're called. But uh, this, is a, this is a little bit of a better boss than what we've been dealing with previously. Um, the... What is it even called? The Father Goose to Goo to Do to Do uh, fight is kind of lame. So I'm really glad that we have a more beast-oriented fight. Now, if we could lose the gimmick where you shoot it in the face and you can do massive amounts of damage and that's the only viable way to fucking fight the boss, that'd be really, really cool. But, you know, there's only the third boss, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. As you can see, we're doing a little bit better than we usually do. Okay, and it grabbed me right as I was bragging. That's fine. It's a little bit less damage, I think. Oh, there we go. Get a little shot in my life. So we're using the pillars to uh, kind of save our butt this time around. Uh, it seems to be the best. God damn it. I just need to stop facing him when he does that attack and just start running. He covers so much ground when he does that. It's ridiculous. There we go. Getting in a good 400 plus damage when we do that repost really does make it pointless to try to swing away on this guy we got poison but it was worth it let's go ahead and knock this out so we are doing way better than we did the first time i uh, really hope this doesn't turn into an entire episode where all i do is fight this guy like six times but uh you never know it happens sometimes um i'm sure there's going to be bosses in this game that i just literally suck at and can't beat to save my life but, uh, you know, fighting this guy two times now, and, uh, it's not horrible. I mean, this boss fight in general is a little bit annoying because he poisons you constantly. But, eh, it makes up for, I don't know. Well, he doesn't do horrible damage either, so, I mean, maybe that's why. The, uh, the moderate damage makes him easier to fight. And then once you learn his parry timings and he's all big and crazy and he poisons you, it doesn't really matter anymore. Or at least that's what I'd like to think. There's some fire. God, dude, your character is like the worst thrower in this game. If any of you were like, oh yeah, throw an item. It's it's never that easy. It kind of seemed like he fell through that pillar again, which is just fucking weirding me out that he can do that. Oh. What the fuck was that? He just ran through the wall. Okay. That's cool. We could still be friends though, dude. You wanna be friends? Ow, that was my toe. What are you fucking doing? Alright, so we're being patient. That is the name of the game when it comes to this boss fight. Be fucking patient. As you can see, we have switched to hammer mode. Ow, that was my fucking face. Don't care, I got plenty of heals. Boom, there we go. And there we go. Get the fuck out of here. Whew. Alright guys, one thing. If you are in here and you are just hating life and you just don't have any more antidotes, uh, if you go to the front part of the boss fight, basically what looks like where he's protecting, there's three antidotes behind, uh, like, a table up there. Anyway, this is a new little merchant that I unlocked. He'll sell you things for PvP-style events. Uh, what else does he do? He sells clothing, and I think that's it. Yeah, for right now, all he does is sell me some PvP shit and some clothing. Um, I'm looking to go more, uh... I don't want to say Dark Souls, but I'm looking to go more uh, unique than this lame-ass gothic steampunk, like, my parents didn't hug me shit. 
So I think we're good. And uh, you don't buy that shit with your blood echoes. You buy it with uh, your knowledge, your your incense, whatever the fuck it's called. All right, there we go. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's a lot more I kill things and a lot less welcome to Dracula's homecoming party. I'm into it. All right, guys. So last thing I want to show you is the... Ooh, there he is. The uh, backstab. You can do it barehanded. You can do it with a weapon. Just charge your strong attack. And then do that. Ta-da. Alright, guys. I'm going to start cutting the episode here. But this is the last little spoiler for what's to come. Hope you guys are enjoying this little series. Uh, so far, it has been really fun to do. And I'm looking forward to a couple more really good boss fights. Thank you guys for watching.